So here's what we're going to be doing today, is we're going to learn a little bit about lists in Python, and in the meantime, in, in the same time, learning a little bit about Star Trek, I suppose. Um, so basically, we're going to be making a list in Python. So number one says, create a list called Captains and add the following names to it. So Archer, Kirk, Decker, Kirk, Picard, and Janeway. So to make a list, I need to give it a name and equals, and I use brackets for that, or square brackets you might call them. And then I'm going to look here and I'm going to say, is Archer, is this a string, a float, or an integer? Clearly because it's characters, it is a string. So I'm going to be using double quotes, or I can use single quotes, whatever you prefer. I'm going to say Archer, Kirk, Decker, Kirk, Picard, and Janeway. And it says to print the list. I'm going to say print captains. Okay, I'm going to run that and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see I've got in the exact same order. I've got Archer, Kirk, Decker, Kirk, Picard, and Janeway. So this is one of the features of a list. A list is ordered. So once you put something in order, it stays in that order until you change it. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Okay, next. Number two, it says to add Cisco to the end of the list. So the key there is adding to the end. So to add something to the end of the list, we use the append method. So I'm going to type the list name dot append, and I want to add Cisco. And the same thing, print the list. Okay, so let's run it, test it. And so you can see number one, still there. Number two, Archer, Kirk, Decker, Kirk, Picard, Janeway, and now we have Cisco at the end. Next. Now, in number three, we're adding Garrett. So Captain Rachel Garrett of the Enterprise C, which you see in the Next Generation episode, Yesterday's Enterprise. So it says here to insert Garrett after Kirk and before Picard. Okay, so this is the key thing. It needs to go here. Okay, so to insert something, not the end, end is append, inserting, I need to know the index of where I want it to go. So indexes start at 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I want Garrett to be number 4. So what I do is I type the list name The index where I want it to go, and the value. Not Jarrett, Garrett. And let's print captains again. Okay, so let's test that. Okay, so you can see now that Garrett is in between Kirk and Picard. Okay. Now notice Picard. Janeway and Cisco are still in the same order they were here. They've just been moved over one index. So that's how you insert something into the middle of a list. Okay, now, uh, here we are now going to remove something from the list. And removing it's very easy. We just type the list name. We use the remove method, go figure. And then the item that we want to remove. Uh, as you know, in Star Trek the Motion Picture, uh, Decker joined with Voyager and became some kind of super being, so he's no longer human. So then let's print the result. Run that. And you can see now Decker has been removed, and we've but we still have two Kirks on our list. And notice, I didn't mention this before, but a list can have you know, the same item, we could have Kirk, 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 all the way down if we wanted to. Okay, moving on. Okay. okay, print how many captains are on the list. Count Kirk twice. Okay, so this one is, uh, it's not really a list method per se. Um, we're going to use the length, or the len keyword. Um, so I'm going to say print len, oops, len. Captains. So this tells us how many 
items are on the list. So if I run that, you'll see seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Uh, now, if you wanted to format that nicely, which we usually want to do, I would do something along the lines of print. You know, there are captains on the list or in the list, however you want to do it. Format and just make sure you have the right number of parentheses there. So let's just run that again to make sure that works. And you'll see here, there are seven captains on the list. Okay, next up. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. It says, put a little space there. Ask the user for the name of a captain. So, so I'm gonna say captain equals, and in Python 3, it's just input. In Python 2, it's raw input, so depending on which version you're using. You know, please enter a captain. Okay. It says, if the captain is on the list, print you know, name is on the list. If not, print name is not on the list. So to find out if something is, is on a list, we use the in keyword. So if captain, so whatever I enter, in captains, print is on the list. And then if not, since there's only two choices, either on the list or not on the list, actually I'm gonna copy this. Save myself a little time. Is the cap on the list? Okay, so let's test that. Okay, so I'm going to say yeah, Picard. So Picard is on the list. So I tested it. That's one possibility, and I need to test it again to make sure both options are working. And I'll say, let's see, Decker. Hey, Decker is not on the list. So I know that at least for those two items, it's working. I can assume it will work for all others. Okay. Next time, or next one, number seven. Print how many times Kirk is on a list. Okay, so we want to know how many times uh, a particular item appears in the list. Now, with this list, of course, is very short and simple. But let's say we had a list of a thousand items, and we need to know how many times the number five appears, for example. So to do this, we're going to use the count method. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to print it nicely. So let's say Kirk is on the list of times. Dot format, and we use the list name, and we use the count method. And I want to. What do I want to count? I want to count Kirk. So because Kirk is a string, I'm using quotation marks. So let's try that. Oops, I got a syntax error, line 75. What did I do wrong? One, two, three, yep, missing a parenthesis, go figure. So that often happens, you know, if there's an error in a line and it looks fine, you always look to the previous line. A lot of times you just forgot for the last parenthesis. Now, so enter a captain. We'll try April, Robert April, if you recall, the original Enterprise captain. And April's on the list. Sorry, guy. And Kirk is on the list two times. So you can see we have Kirk and Kirk. He is on the list more than once. Okay. Next, uh, in some cases, we're going to need to know where in the list a certain uh, item is. So to do that, we use the index method. It's very simple. So I'm going to say print card is at index format. So I'm going to use the index method. So it's captains. And it's very similar. Index. This time I have the right number of parentheses, I hope. And pick card. Now notice capitalization is the same so everything has to match uh, as normal 
Can I delete that? Uh, we'll say Janeway this time. Janeway's on the list. Kirk is on the list two times, and Picard is at index four. So let's confirm that. So zero, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Okay. We've got yeah, a couple more here. So sort the list in alphabetical order. Okay, so Python's very kind to us, and it has a built-in sorting method. So we want, when we sort strings, uh, it will put them in alphabetical order. So basically, all I have to do is type captains dot sort, and it sorts it in place. So it actually rearranges this uh, list for us. So I'm going to say print captains, and we'll take a look at that. Somebody's really having trouble shutting the door out there. I don't know why. Um, okay, let's try Cisco. There we go. Okay, so we've sorted it. And you see it's Archer, Garrett, Janeway, Kirk, Kirk, Picard, Cisco, which is what we wanted. And then finally, if this question says to print the names one by one on a separate line like so. Name is a Star Trek captain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say four captain in captains. Now. I didn't have to use captain or captains. This could have been X and Y, but it just makes sense. It makes your code easier to read. Um, so this structure is called, like in another language, it would be called a for each. So this goes through each item on the list one by one and does you know, what we're asking it. Now since we've sorted it, it's in alphabetical order. So I'm going to print a Star Trek captain. Dot format captain. So let's run through that. Okay. Kirk. And there we go. Archer, Garrett, Janeway, Kirk, Kirk, Picard, and Cisco. Okay, so there you have it. There are well, I'd say that is a uh, quick introduction to Python lists, uh, a few of the list methods, and a way to iterate through the list using, you know, for something in something. Okay. Enjoy.